Okay guys, what is up? Welcome back to a very, very exciting episode of Hug a Mess 92. Since it's raining outside and 43 degrees, I decided to do one of these videos I have not done before, which is a bait video. I wanna show you guys what stuff I use to make bait for carp, catfish, panfish, whatever. Give you guys some tips so you can go out there and catch monster fish. The ingredients I'm using today for my bait is Jeff peanut butter, a little peanut butter couch and crunch, you guys can see there, and white bread. So with these three main ingredients, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best bait to catch the biggest fish. And this bait goes for carp, panfish, catfish, bass, any fish you wanna catch. All right, let's get to it. So what I do first is I take, I got a bowl and some couch and crunch. Let's pour them in here. Come on, buddy. All right, that should be enough. Put this down for you guys, as you guys can see right there. Got the ball, little uh, cereal balls in there. And the next thing we're going to use for some like more taste and more flavor for the fish is red Powerade, which I did not say in the intro. I'm also using red Powerade. Pour a little bit of that in here. Get so nice, so nice. So everything's all nice and juicy. So we'll put that down there. Put this away. And what we want to do with this is stick our hand in here. I know it's kind of disgusting, but crunch it up. Kind of like like Wheaties and stuff, like like people use for a carp and stuff like that. We'll just crunch it up like that. Keep crunching it and crunching it and crunching it. Kind of like until it gets to like a a moisty ball and stuff. All right, got that done. So basically it should look like something like this in my hand where it's all like moisty. Next thing you wanna do, again, so we got the cereal, we got the uh, Powerade. And the last thing you wanna do is use the white bread. And what we're gonna do with the white bread is basically make a little ball with it, roll it up in your hand, stick that in there, and crunch all the rest of it together. So it ends up like I'll show you like this, look at that. Well, these little uh, balls are, meant, are really good for carp. I noticed they're very good for catfish. So you wanna use a little piece of it. Um, they're also really good for panfish too. So that's what we wanna do is basically make as many of these as we can, let them sit for a while so they nice and harden. And what we wanna do is put them on the hook. They'll usually float, but if you wanna put more Powerade and Gatorade in it or Gatorade will make them sink. So the catfish will also eat it and the big bass. What I like to do instead of, I know a lot of people for carp use this and catfish, but people also use Wheaties uh, for uh, big carp. I like to use a Captain Crunch because I feel like it sticks better to the bread because it's like in a little ball. I just feel like it's more solid and not a lot of the stuff will come off the bait. So that's the main thing. I also like to use this four channel catfish. Once I put these on the hook, if I get enough cereal on it, it's not gonna come off. It's gonna sit at the bottom and you're gonna catch a monster fish. So yeah, that's about it guys. I mean, as you can see, this is the final product right here. I usually make about, um, let me see, I don't know, about 10 to 12 of them, just in case I do fling some off. But usually between 10 and 12 should last us around four to five fish around two hours. And what you wanna do is get a big catfish rod, a big rod if you're gonna go for carp or catfish, cause those fish are amazingly huge. Or if you wanna do pan fish or get a little tiny rod, Put a little um, little piece on it, and as soon as you throw that thing out there, those fish are gonna go into, those fish are going to go crazy and smack your bait. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that um, I have not done anything like this before on my channel. I just want to show you guys something new. So with this ingredients and this bait, you should go out there and catch the biggest fish. And if you do, I want to uh, I want to know. So comment below. Let me know if you go out there and use this method, and if you catch a big bait. So again, I mean, as you can see, I do have leftovers. What I like to do with this is wrap it up in a little plastic bag, put it in the refrigerator so I do not waste it, so I can use it for the next weekend if I do go. But usually if I do want panfish again, guys, I'll just like pour one of these little uh, crunch balls in the bowl with a little Powerade to give it some flavor and put it on the hook and it will, it will float to the top. And usually those carp will smack that because like when I see the carp in my pond, they come up to the top to eat their bait and all that. So if you have like one of those little pebble balls of the Captain Crunch, that is the perfect, again, perfect size to catch this big carp. And once you hook them, you better hold on because those fish go nuts once you, um, once you hook into them. I have caught, 
I would say not. Um, I get. I would have caught. We say three or four grass carp off this but if you want to use this in the river too also this is an effective bait for common carp in my opinion too i have caught this off of this and basically with this bait anything is pretty effective they can go all the way to panfish i have caught some decent bass on it the main thing i like to catch off of this bait are uh big catfish and usually the ones that do, do hit are the channel catfish not so far the big blue cat or the shovel head because they like live bait and stuff like that but i tend to to see that channel cat love this bait so if you are a catfish angler i would highly recommend you using this bait i mean you can just use a circle hook but also what i do i like to use a dip bait um it's like a little piece of foam with a little uh, treble hook on the bottom what you also can do is dip that in here and this will uh, easily, I just spill down the ground, but this will easily stay on the hook so you do not lose your bait. And if it doesn't stay on your hook, the scent of the Powerade and the Captain Crunch and the uh, peanut butter, I also forgot guys, the peanut butter is another good thing to use. This is the last thing I would like to put on. If it, it's not necessary, but usually if the stuff again is not sticking in, I like to uh, take a little bit of peanut butter, take a little spoon again, and what you want to do with that is kind of like mold it on it too, just like that. So again, look at, so again, right here, as you guys can see, what the peanut butter does, again, it allows the, um, the ball to be more solid and it allows to more things to stick to it. Like once you crunch up the cereal, it's just going to hold it in there. Again, another, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't say emergency thing, but another thing to uh, secure the bait so that when you do, cast out it does not fall off so again yeah guys i'll go over what i'm using again as you guys can see i have peanut butter from jeff you can use any peanut butter it does not matter i chose jeff because that's what all the kroger had where i live again white bread you can use uh wheat bread bagels anything just anything that soaks in it and again captain crunch cereal is i do believe the main ingredient for this because without the captain crunch cereal you, I mean, you can also use Wheaties and stuff, but I figured with the Captain Crunch cereal, the tiny little balls, again, is the best bait. And to get peanut butter, and also to mix it with the real peanut butter, it's extra peanut buttery. <laughs> and also to use the, uh, make sure you get Powerade or Gatorade. I'll try red flavor, because in my opinion, in my experience, I have noticed the red flavor has more scent to it, and it draws in the fish more. And also, this bait is a good bait to throw on the hook. And also, since you have also leftovers, and you don't want to put it in your refrigerator, what you can do is throw it out in the lake and chum the water, which, oh, if you guys know what chumming is, you throw it out in the water and it brings a scent to you. It brings in a million fish. I have used this. I have thrown this in the pond. I think one day we caught about five or seven channel cat in about an hour. After we throw it out and chummed it, it kind of, to me, smells like dog food. That's what, to me, it brings in the big monster channel catfish. So yeah, guys, that's about it today. Just want to say thank you again for watching another exciting episode of Hook and Bass 92. And again, if you can do me a huge, huge favor and comment below if you use this method and let me know if you caught a big fish. It doesn't matter if it's a little bluegill, a grass carp, a big bass, whatever. Just comment below and let me know what you caught off this bait if you tried and use it. And again, guys, if you can do me a huge, huge favor again and hit that subscribe button. And as always, catch big fish. Have a great day.